Good morning. Jesus is Lord. Thank God Jesus is Lord now, and the devil's not your Lord anymore if you're born again. Praise God. We changed lords, by the way. So God's divine nature is to give. We've been talking about things, establishing from the Word of God, things that Frank and I learned years ago, God opened our eyes to, and we've been living by this. Ever since he showed it to us, it was so quickened in our heart. So in Matthew chapter 7, verse 12, he said, And if you being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, so he's telling you this is a father-daughter, father-son relationship, he said, how much more will your Father, which is in heaven, give good things? So let's establish that as a doctrine, that God wants to give you good things. And who's he going to give them to? To him that ask him for things. Well, when we learned... First, I guess the first scripture we heard on things, believing God for things, was Mark eleven twenty four. So I'm going to share that word with you. Now listen to it. Take off your religious cap. Listen to what the Father is saying because Jesus spoke the words of the Father. He said, what things, and, and that's the word we're looking at, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them what them things that you desire and you shall have them what things the things that you desire so we heard that word oh my it opened up the whole kingdom of god to us it took us out of the realm of limited to the realm of limitless that our father wanted to give us good things, but it was up to us to decide what things soever we desire. And you know, that's the only way Father can be fair to everybody is to, and to be no respecter of persons, is to leave it up to you as to what things soever you desire. So we heard about this, and then we started believing God for things, for cars, not to have payments for them, but to believe God for cars. And I have to admit, the first cars we believed for, we didn't have our faith up for a brand new one at that time, but we did believe God for things. I remember one day when it was getting close to school uh, starting and my little boys, I think they were in the first and second grade at the time, Matthew might have been in kindergarten, and they didn't have any clothes. I mean, just barely enough. And I said, Father, all of a sudden, that was just quickened to me of ask me for things. I am your source. And so I went to the Father, and I said, Father, I believe I receive new clothes and shoes for the boys. And do you know, within a day or two, somebody called me and said, I want you to take your children and buy them some new clothes for school and gave me a credit card to do it. Back then, they weren't debit cards, they were credit cards. But, so, I thought, this is awesome. So that, that was one of the first things, start to believe God for things. And you know, Father did it. It didn't come out of our pocket, but he said, what things soever you desire, not what things soever you can afford, why? because Father is going to supply it. It's his heart's desire to give you the things. Oh, and Frank's flagging me, but I have to tell you this. God only says what his will is. His word is his will. So if he said what things soever you desire, then that's exactly what he means. So renew your mind to that today. We'll talk about things again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works and start asking God for things.